Hi, Monica McGillicuddy here. I'm going to spend a few minutes and talk to you about something that I probably really don't want to talk about. And, you know, before you go crazy, I'm not going to talk to you about Christmas because it isn't even Thanksgiving and nothing irritates me more than going into the stores and seeing Christmas decorations instead of Thanksgiving stuff. But anyways, what I am going to talk to you about is being prepared for the winter that we might have. You know, we happen to be lucky enough to live in one of the colder states. When you live in one of the colder states, you know you have to be prepared. You have to have lots of warm clothes and, you know, good heat and all of that stuff and really be, be prepared for a winter that might be pretty bone chilling and hard to take. So a couple of tips for you because we will ultimately end up having a storm this winter that could cause power outages. Think of ice storm of 08, wind storm of 2010. Think of all the blizzards we've had, snow, freezing rain, ice dams in the ceilings from your, you know, from the ice accumulating on the roof of your house. So one of the things that I always do is I mentally prepare for a storm ahead of time. If I know if it looks like it's going to be questionable, I'm going to do things like A, number one, I'm going to fill up my bathtub with water. I have a well, so if we go without power, I can use that water to flush with. I'm also going to start making a ton of ice cubes, as many as I possibly can. Put them in bags, keep them in a cooler, whatever. I can always use those ice cubes. I can always melt it for drinking water if I need or any, you know, cooking water. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have a little, I have a little propane camping stove that I use. And I'm going to make sure I have plenty of little canister of propane so that I can cook some things as well, of course, we also use our gas grill. We keep it, we put it in the winter position next to the back door so we can shovel and get out there easy enough. There's nothing like having a, a wonderfully grilled meal. But, you know, if you're without power for a while, you know you're going to get awful cold. So if you get a generator, you know, make sure you use it. You're stocked up on fuel ahead of time. And the same thing, you know, if you, you heat with pellets or a wood stove or whatever, make sure you have plenty of alternate fuel available. Don't wait till the last minute. Don't go to the store the day before the storm is going to hit because you're going to be in lines like you wouldn't believe. Shovels, warm clothes, gloves, mittens, all of that stuff. Ice melt or rock melt or whatever that you would normally use. Don't wait until you need it. Stock up now. But whenever a storm's coming, I kind of think of like, what would I do if I was going wilderness camping and I didn't have running water? And I stock up on stuff like that, meaning wet ones, wipes, dry shampoo, batteries, candles, anything that I can use that will make it so that if I can't take a shower for three or four days, I'd be okay. And, um, you know, a lot of that stuff is pretty cheap when it goes on sale. So stock up ahead of time. Be prepared. And hopefully, hopefully we won't need any of that stuff and we'll have a, a mild winter. And next thing you know... It'll be March and April, and the worst will be behind us, and we can look forward to spring and summer and fall, and then winter all over again. Life in New Hampshire. Love it. Bye-bye.